So actually, these lines are totally straight. This is how you can create a pattern swatch with an optical illusion inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Ken, I'm a graphic designer, and this is Dia Graphics. The first thing we want to do is activate the grid. So go to View, then go to Show Grid, then go to View again and select Snap to Grid. After that, go to your Transform panel right here. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Transform panel right here. Then go to this drop down menu right here and uncheck Align New Objects to Pixel Grid. This will make our drawings snap to the grid more precisely. Now let's begin the actual drawing. So first off, let's create a square and simply make it the size of one of these big squares on the grid. Then make it a fill instead of a stroke and select a color for the square. Now let's zoom in on the square so we can see what we are doing. Now go to the selection tool and duplicate this square by holding down the ALT key and drag it up like this. And place it so the left side of the square aligns with the middle of the first square. Then duplicate this square and drag it up the same way. And once again, duplicate this square but this time drag it up and to the left. Now you should have something like this. Now select all the squares and duplicate this row to the right. And while having these squares selected, select another color for these. You should go for colors with a lot of contrast to get the maximum effect. So a dark color and a light color together will work perfectly. Now select all these squares and duplicate these ones one time to the right again. And for the last time, duplicate one more time to the right. Now you should have a pattern like this. Then select the line tool and simply draw a line from this corner to this corner. Then select a width for the stroke. You should go with a thin stroke to once again get the maximum effect. Then select the stroke and select the color you want for your stroke. Then choose the selection tool and duplicate this line so there's a line between every row of squares. Now hold down the shift key and select all these lines. Then go to object and go to expand. Then make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. So this is the pattern and now we need to create the actual pattern swatch. So we need to find a repeatable square inside this pattern. So select the rectangle tool and draw a square from this corner right here and four squares to the right and four squares down. Then choose the selection tool, select everything, go to the pathfinder menu right here. If it isn't open, you can find it in window and find it on the pathfinder right here. Then go to the pathfinder menu and click crop. This way we use the purple square to cut out the section of the pattern that we want. Now with this new square pattern selected, go to object, go to pattern and go to make. And because we found the repeatable square, we don't need to do anything here other than click done. So now let's zoom out and let's see our result. And as you can see right here, on a big scale, this pattern swatch looks very trippy and the straight lines doesn't look straight at all. I hope you're having an awesome day. If you want to watch more tutorials on pattern design, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.